And from the state level to local changes, city and county leaders are now debating whether or not a curfew or a stay-at-home order would actually work or help. ABC Action News reporter Haley Bull was there for those talks today and is talking to members of the emergency policy group tonight. Haley, what'd you learn? Well, we learned today they did not enact a curfew and they did not enact a stay at home order, but they do plan to look at them again. Mayor Castor says she was disappointed they decided to put a stay at home. They did not decide to put a stay at home order in place or set a date to discuss it. She says it would still allow for exemptions and argues the longer you wait, the longer it will take to recover. But other group members had questions about how effective it would be only on the local level and wanting to be sure any policy is clear. The group also discussed a curfew last week. They're looking to bring it up again on Thursday. The sheriff says on both issues, they need to see the language. The last thing that I ever want to do is to create a police state of panic here in our community. And again, I think that the responsibility of distancing ourselves falls on all of us. It's certainly not merely a law enforcement problem. Now, what the group did agree on, voting to open Raymond James Stadium as a testing collection site once the necessary equipment is in. The site is expected to be ready by Wednesday, but its opening is contingent on receiving personal protection equipment to be able to collect samples. County leaders say they have 900 collection swabs in, but we'll need more of those. Now, people getting tested there would need to call a line to be screened and receive authorization. Reporting live in Tampa, Haley Bull, ABC Action News. Haley